Okay, everybody, this one is a special request um, from my uh, granddaughter's mama. So she needed to fix some of the PVC like I had the other day. So I'm going to show you what you need really quick to DIY your own little PVC um, repair. So if you've got PVC that's broken uh, on the PVC itself, it's got the dimension of the PVC. So if you look at the old one, just dust it off, see what size PVC you need, and you can go to Home, Home Depot or Lowe's and go and buy these. You will need um, one of these. I have this one because I like it because it's adjustable. It adjusts to different sizes of the PVC, so I can just go up or down to adjust it accordingly. And you're gonna need some cup links um, to cut it. So I would clean off your old PVC, use this, attach it to the PVC, and then you just clamp it down and you twist it around so that you get a clean cut at the end. And then um, you can prep it. You're gonna need some of this stuff and some PVC cement. I sell them in a little pack, they come together. Just make sure that it says um, PVC on there. And what you'll do is you'll take your new pipe, put it to your old PVC. You're gonna take some of this purple stuff. You're gonna go around the edge and around the edge of your cup link. This is a cup link. See the inside of it? So it'll connect two end pieces together. So your, your broken piece on this side, you cut it, you take that piece, prep it with the purple stuff first, then you go around with the cement and then you just slide it on. It does dry fast, so you gotta like work quick when you're doing it. And then you get your new PVC, do the same thing, put your little purple stuff, get your cement, stick the new one on and then connect it and you should be good to go if there's no other breaks in the line. But that's a quick how to do um, PVC. And if you're doing a PEX line, like a water line in the bathroom, um, these are PEX, they come in three different colors. There's a white one, a red one, and a blue one. Typically red goes to hot and blue goes to cold. And then I use the white one for, you know, like my shower line or the toilet. Um, but they're all the same. You could really use the same color throughout as long as you know which side is hot and which side is cold. Um, these ones are cut with a different little uh, cutter. These ones are specifically for the PEX lines. Um, and you can use a couple of different things to connect them. So this is um, half by half shark bite. And these are really cool because you just stick it in there and push it in. And once you push it, you'll fill it like lock in there. And that'll connect that line to that side. And then you do the same thing on the other side. Same, it's same concept as the cup link, only it's a push and lock. Um, but you do have to be careful that you push it in to the right side, to the right place where you want it to go because once you push this sucker in, it's not coming out unless you have a specific tool to take it off. Um, but anyways, you can do it that way. These ones are a little bit more expensive and it does get costly if you have to do multiple, multiple um, connections. So what I found is same thing. These are, this one's a T1. I have the straight ones. Here's an elbow. Um, I do have a straight one somewhere in my bag, but um, there is a straight one, like a cup link like this that you can use. And these ones are used with a clamping system. So uh, I would get my pecs. Um, these are called little clamping rings, crimping rings, actually. So you put the little crimping thing on there you'll put a straight one here or a bent one whichever one you need and then you will take this guy and you'll go around the ring and just pinch it close and it'll, it'll crimp it tight so this thing won't move and water won't leak out so that's what you use and that's what it looks like and if you need to 
do like connect multiple lines to it. They have different versions of these. So like I can connect, you know, one line going this way, my other line going that way, and another line coming this way and do it the same way. Um, but that's how you would connect on a PEX line for, this would be used for a shower, bathroom sink, um, kitchen sinks, toilets, um, your bathtub water connections when you're connecting new bathtub things and I can make another video on when I connect one of those so you can see what it looks like but that's how you connect pipes together if you got any questions hit me up let me know bye